So this is a buoyancy question. In this question, we have a metal cylinder suspended vertically in equilibrium. So the resultant force is zero by a cord. The diagram shows the cylinder in four different positions, P, Q, R, and S, which statement explains the variation of tension T. Okay, so to make our life easier, I'm going to uh, label all these T's slightly differently. So let's say this is TP, TQ, TR, and TS. Okay, let's consider TS. It is not immersed in water. So whenever you see something immersed in water, it should immediately trigger the idea of buoyancy for you. So just as a recap, uh, buoyancy is equal to the weight of water displaced. So in this case, the question here would be what how much water is being displaced? Uh? Okay, so in S, right, there is no water being displaced. So the only force acting on, the only other force acting on the cylinder is weight. So Ts is equal to mg. Okay, of course, you would say that wouldn't all uh, blocks have weight? If that is what you're thinking, then you will be right. But also at the same time, let's consider buoyant force. The buoyancy of R is here because, I mean, it exists because you can see that this is the amount of water that R has displaced. Okay. So let's say I will call this F buoyant R and it's going to provide an upward force on the metal cylinder. Okay. So in this case, uh, I can say the upward force TR is equal to I mean, plus the, up, the other upward force, buoyant force at R is equal to mg. So immediately you can tell that TR will be equal to mg minus the buoyant force of R. Okay, what about P and Q? Now, if you examine P and Q, they both, they, are, they seem to have different depth, but would that actually change the volume of the water displaced? The answer is no. Okay, so if you recall the equation for buoyant force, so there are two ways to think about it. The first way, right, when you think about buoyant force is that your buoyant force is V rho G. <laughs> okay, so density of water is obviously constant. G is constant. So in this case, oh, the volume of P is equal to the volume of Q, which is also greater than the volume of S. You can also think about this uh, buoyant force is due to pressure difference. So it's not about the absolute pressure of the metal cylinder, but the buoyant force is due to pressure difference between the top and the bottom of the cylinder. So as long as the cylinder has the same dimensions, it should have the same buoyant force. So in this case, I will say that Oy. This FBQ and FB at position P is the same. So if I want to write out the equation for TQ and TP, TQ is equal to TP. Okay, Be how do I know this? Because TQ plus the buoyant force at point Q is equal to mg. So you get back a very similar expression. So the tension at Q will be the weight minus the buoyant force of cylinder Q. The buoyant force of cylinder Q is equal to the buoyant force of cylinder P. So because of this, you can say the tension in Q is equal to the tension in P. So I guess if you want to arrange the tension or to summarize everything, right? The tension is equal to mass subtract buoyant force. So the largest tension is Ts. Ts is the biggest because it doesn't have buoyant force to support. Followed by Tr. Tr is the second biggest because the buoyant force is less. Okay, And followed by Tq and Tp, which are equal because they, uh, Im they displace the same amount of water. Although they are immersed at different heights, they will have the same pressure difference. Okay, So let's compare the statements. At P and Q, the tension is the same because the difference in pressure between the top and the bottom cylinder is the same. Yep, that is your answer A. So once again, buoyant force 
is due to pressure difference. All right, this is a pretty common objective question. At the idea that buoyant force is due to pressure difference when the object is submerged in a fluid. At Q, tension in T is less than P. Uh, this is not true. Lah. Tension in P and T and P is equal. All right, at R, okay, let's look at R. Tension in the cord is less than P. Nope, it is greater. And atmospheric pressure acts on everybody, okay? So everyone gets the same amount of atmospheric pressure. It becomes a constant variable, so it doesn't really affect the tension. And as tension in the cord is greater, okay, sure. Because, not because of atmospheric pressure at S. Uh, it's because there's no buoyant force at S. The cylinder is not submerged. Alright, so that's all for this uh, straightforward concept question. The whole idea of a buoyant force due to water being displaced, causing a pressure difference above and below the cylinder. That's it.